Your big choice is deciding if you will cut your Havanese's coat or let a groomer to do the job. If you decide to groom your Havanese in the comfort of your home, your breeder, a blog, or a book can provide you with helpful instructions. If you decide to use a groomer, describe the style you want in detail to her. If possible, bring a picture or sketch of the Havanese haircut that you want. Except for the show coat, there are no consistent names for different trims. Do not assume that the groomer will mean the same thing as you do. By the phrase, puppy trim. In today's video, you will learn how to groom a Havanese dog at home. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified. When we post more pet-related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel. So it's very much appreciated. Trimming the coat. If you want to trim your Havanese's coat yourself, you will need good scissors and an electric clipper. Use rounded or blunt-tipped scissors for working around the face. Trim the coat around the feet and the hairs extending between the pads. For both cleanliness and safety. On males, a semicircle of coat in front of the penis should be clipped to the skin. Leaving the hair on the sheath. This keeps urine from getting on the belly coat. For female Havanese, trim around the lower half of the vulva for cleanliness. On both, trim around the anus and on the inside of the rear legs for better hygiene. Dealing with mats. Their coat will mat and tangle if not brushed often and correctly. Curly coats will mat more often than the desired wavy coat. A puppy coat changing to an adult coat will mat the most. Wet coats will mat if not brushed, combed, and dried, even if just damp from morning dew. If your dog scratches an itch, due to fleas, allergies, or skin infections, mats may result. Avoiding mats is a huge incentive to groom your Havanese regularly, to dry off coats that get wet, and to correct any problem that causes him to scratch. Tools and products such as mat splitters, combs, or rakes. Help you break up a mat with minimum coat damage. Liquid tangle removers can be used as a conditioner and to help remove tangles. If you find a mat, hold it up and gently pull the hairs at the edges away from it. If necessary, saturate the mat with the liquid tangle remover. Work it into the mat, and then leave it until nearly dry. You can use the mat splitter or rake to break the mat into smaller pieces. With your fingers, brush, or comb, gently untangle the hairs. Until you can brush or comb through them. Coat type. Remember that a wavy coat is the easiest type of coat to care for. Regardless of its length or style of trim, the correct wavy coat will remain attractive and free of mats. Even if the dog carrying it is groomed less frequently, you might want to select a style based on coat type. When it gets long, the curly coat tends to mat frequently. Therefore, if your Havanese is curly coated, you may wish to keep him in a relatively shorter, more easily managed trim. The curly hair will also curl more when cut short and will come to resemble the coat of a poodle or a Bichon Frise.